Where the hell is Blade? It's been hours. Jamie, I know you don't want to hear this. But I think it's time you forgot about the Emerald and made plans to leave this place. I don't want to hear that again. Now, Blade will get back here with the Emerald. Everything is depending on it. Now, see here, I know that you're disappointed. But all you can do now is cut your losses and get out while there's still time. I know another way out. You. I thought my grandson told you to get lost. Love is not love that alters when it alteration finds. It says that in the Bible. Shakespeare. What difference does it make? Jamie, I know that you're angry with me, but I have not stopped loving you, and I know that you still love me. Ursula, we don't have time to I talk. I know we'll have time for gentle words and sweet kisses much later, darling, and that right now is the time for action. I know that, and that's why I've come back to you. Now, all you have to do is say the word, and I will take care of all of your enemies, Tina, Cord, whoever you say, and without you ever having to get the slightest bit of dirt beneath your fingernails. Just simple, clean, and final. Don't Listen to it, Jamie. Come away with me now. Jamie, I got it. The ring? And you said it didn't exist. Blade, I'm forever in your debt. Jamie, what about me? What about you? My offer, you know. Everything has changed, Ursula. Happy days are here again. Okay, let's have the Pyramid of Dreams. Now we'll see if this emerald is the real McCoy. It should open the pyramid up and reveal the secrets of eternal life. Whatever that means. Shh. Go ahead, John. <laughs> there must be something wrong with one of those other stones. One of them must be a fake. Yes, Tina, one of them must be a fake. Your so-called emerald. Gabrielle promised me it was real. Then she lied. Russell Price had the other stones checked out by an expert so that I know they're genuine. I mean, look at this. What, are you supposed to be some expert in precious gems? No, but I know a scam when I see one. This is glass. It's very nice glass, but it's glass all the same. Glass. Did you really think you could fool me, Tina? Oh, come on, Jamie. Jamie. She's as stunned as you are by all this. Come on. I doubt that. Now, nobody makes a fool out of me. Do you understand? Nobody. Will you listen to me now, Jamie? Just kill Tina and her hubby, too. They both deserve it. Don't listen to her, Jamie. You're a Sanders. And a Sanders would never lower himself to her barbaric level. Who are you calling barbaric? You, you cave woman. All right, that's enough. Grams, you're right. Jamie! So are you, Ursula. I'm going to take your previous suggestion and proceed fair and square. We're going to put Tina on trial after all. Whoa. Man, I am kidding. Right. You're insane, Tina. Put her on yeah. trial for what? Murder. Murder of my father. Now, before this goes any further... Forget it, Grams. It's decided. I'll be the prosecutor. Cord, you can be Tina's defense. And Grams, you'll, of course, be our judge. Yeah. As for the rest of you, raise your hands. Congratulations. You're the jury. <laughs> Your life is in their George Elizabeth Sanders. Oh, for heaven's sake, do sit down. <laughs> I said sit. And just what are you supposed to be? Who, me? I'm the court stenographer, see? Just uh, don't talk too fast, okay? <laughs> <laughs> bring in the defendant, Tina Lord Roberts. Yeah, bring her in. Justice must 
be served. The death of my father must be avenged, Do and justice now. shall prevail. Yes. 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 Order. That's enough, Ursula. Now shut up and plant it. Let's get one thing perfectly straight right from the beginning, shall we? The only reason I agreed to this trial, such as it is, was to give Tina Roberts a fair and orderly chance to defend herself. Therefore, I will not have these proceedings turned into a, a circus of catcalls and histrionics. I'm in charge here. And I'll be more than happy to slap each and every one of you with contempt of court, if need be. Oh, us contempt? Of our great American system of justice? Yeah. 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 trial. Look at that jury. They'd love, they'd love to lynch me. The best thing we can do right now is stall for time. Maybe that way the cops can figure out where we are. I'll come here and get us out of here. Unfortunately, honey, I don't think we have much hope for that. Defendant will rise. Tina Roberts, you have been accused of the murder of Cornelius Blackwell, father of Ursula Blackwell. How do you plead? Not guilty. Oh, hi. Hi, everyone. I've told you once about such outbursts. Now, please, don't make me tell you again. That's right, Mama. <laughs> now, if memory serves me correctly, I believe the next order of business is to have the prosecuting attorney uh, give his opening statement. Are you ready to do so, Mr. Sanders? Uh, Mr. Sanders. Jamie! What? Your opening statement to the jury, if you please. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gentlemen and ladies. Who you call a lady? <laughs> All right. Okay, we've got a lot of serious business to attend to today. First of all, I'd like to congratulate our defendant on the miraculous way she's managed to turn her life around. You see, when I first met Tina Roberts, she was, well, at best, an ambitious little tramp with nothing going for her but a devious mind and stunning beauty. And look where she's landed. She's got everything. She's got money, a halfway decent looking husband, a beautiful bouncing baby boy. Why, she's on the top of the heap, and she's looking down at you. And you, and you, and you. All right, we get the point. The point is, Tina thinks that all of her sins have been forgiven as well as forgotten. And why should they be? At heart, she's just like the rest of us. Nothing more than a common criminal. She's greedy. She doesn't care who she hurts. Mm -hmm. Look at her sitting there with that wide-eyed, innocent look. <laughs> but good people, don't be fooled. She's a manipulative little witch who murdered a helpless old man. <laughs> Cornelius Blackwell was a kind, gentle human being who never hurt anyone in his life, and she murdered him. Friar! Yeah. Yeah. Yes! Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I ask you to find the defendant, Tina Roberts, guilty of murder. Yeah. So, that she's just as bad as we are when it comes to the sins and mistakes that we've all had to pay for. Yeah. Thank you. Quiet. Thank you, Mr. Sanders. Uh, Mr. Roberts, you may now give your opening statement. Thank you, Your Honor. Sit down. Nobody wants to hear what you have to say. <laughs> Elizabeth, what's going on here? Uh, the defense attorney has a right. Your Honor, sure. I move that we dispense with protocol and get on to the first 